new from Kilt Films, <laughs> I have to cover the, the cover here, is 1982's Identification of a Woman, because it's a saucy cover. Uh, I never knew much about this, other than it was directed by Michelangelo and Tony Oni, and this was a, a movie that was made late in his career, he was in his 70s, and we kind of follow our main character of Nicole, um, a director who can't seem to connect with the women in his life. He's had a recent divorce, he starts up a relationship with a woman called Mavi, and he can't really fully embrace that. He's always keeping himself a little bit guarded. Uh, and should I say that this character is wonderfully portrayed by Thomas Millian. What a joy to see him in a more kind of straight-laced role. Uh, and as his relationship with Mavi unfolds, you kind of get the idea that he is someone who wants to fully experience the woman. He goes with Mavi, he meets all her friends, where she lives, um, her relationships that she has. He fully opens up her life to him, but doesn't really do the same. You know, and even emotionally, he's a little bit stilted. This is a character who is more on the periphery of the world, who likes to observe and watch, but not really take an active part in what's going on. He may dabble now and again, but his inability to open up and connect to other people is ultimately going to keep him alone for the majority of this movie. Whether that's an allegory for the way that Antonioni uh, was feeling at the time, well, that's open to interpretation. The way this movie's filmed is really kind of fun. There's lots of um, reflective surfaces, lots of people through doorways, through windows. There are lots of objects that kind of float ethereally uh, through the camera, blocking off people, splitting the camera in two, uh, separating our actors. It's a very nice way to deliver the information that everything is disconnected in the film. Uh, there's a particular great moment later on where uh, Nicolo has discovered Mavi um, and he's kind of looking at her through a window and as the camera moves on Mavi's face it comes up to reveal the window and uh, where Nicolo should be standing. Um, but the character of Nicolo was a really kind of interesting one. A man who isn't working and when he's not working he's struggling to just really settle, to find something to keep himself busy, looking to possibly um, do a movie on women, what makes them tick, how they kind of um, work almost, is something that keeps him busy and that's why he's having these kind of relationships throughout the film. And although he meets someone, he enjoys them, he spends time with them, he's getting to the affectionate stages, he still can't open up fully and allow that relationship to take the next step which is a shame for the character. And ultimately, as it transpires, this is a movie that's not really so much about plot, but it's more about the story. The story of Nicolo as he is struggling to deal uh, with his inability to move past a, a certain level, I'd say, uh, in intimacy with a lot of the people that he discovers. Uh, yeah. This is a strange one to kind of recommend. Um, I think Thomas Millian's performance is particularly great. I think the women in this film are, are great. There are more than just Mavi, but Mavi is the kind of main character that kind of drives his affection and his thought process. Um, there's some wonderfully standout sequences in this that I really enjoyed. The one with the Mavi and Nicolo as they are driving through thick fog and as things become heated is just a wonderful um, antithesis of uh, your typical lovey-dovey sequences uh, as we see a kind of explosion of emotion and rage um, really come to the forefront. It, it's a, a, not a moment that drives them apart but brings them a little bit close together for a moment which I, I really kind of appreciated. I found it was kind of um, an interesting film. Is it one that I can fully recommend? I'd say if you're an, a fan of uh, Antonioni, I think it's definitely something to offer. If you want to see Millian and something a little bit different, this is one for you. Now, it's out on Kilt Films now for you to pick up and check out. I would recommend doing that because it's an interesting film. If you're a fan of Italian cinema, um, and like as you can guess by me covering the artwork on it, it can be a little bit saucy in moments, 
that that's life, I suppose. I'd love to know your thoughts on the identification of a woman. Let me know in the comment box below your thoughts on this film. As always, there's more content up here. You can see more of my stuff. If you are interested, in the description box below are links to the Patreon, the membership programme, and manvfilm.com, where you can help support me in various fashions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.